loves welcome back again to our channel i'm your host Anna carol and if you see my face for the first time hi my sister says hi as well welcome to the channel and hope you're loving it please make sure you subscribe before heading out okay so welcome to today's vlog today's vlog i'm on my way to the farm i started this farm journey with you guys and i'm definitely going to complete it with you guys i took you through the process of harvesting maize in the farm and today we are going to harvest a goosey or what you call in english melon seeds so you're going to see the whole process of how it is being harvested to the process everything as in i'm going to show you guys everything hope this video is interesting to you and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up turn on post notification bell and all that good stuff because you're definitely going to love it here okay the process starts from harvesting of the fruits and gathering them on a single heap Sorry I didn't show you guys the harvesting process, but it's a very simple process. You just go about the farm, picking up the melon seeds and gathering them together, like you see here. The purpose of this is to make the next step easier for you once you have all the melon seeds gathered in a particular area where you want them to be. The next step is definitely going to be easier for you now moving over to the next step is to break them there are two ways to doing this either by hitting them with a stone or using a matcha to cut them open both ways have their advantages and disadvantages breaking them using a stone is advantageous because it helps the comb get softer faster and it avoids the breaking of the egusi seeds inside the comb into smaller pieces but it is energy draining and time consuming especially if you have a huge quantity of melon seeds which you have to break open if you decide to use the stone method to break all of them open your arms are definitely going to tell you you have done some serious work and you're going to feel your body ache a lot Using a machete is of course faster and energy saving but the bad side is it slows down the rattling process of the comb and that is not what we want. That's the essence of breaking it in the first place right for it to get rotten faster and you cut the egglesy seeds inside when you split the melon open using a machete and that is definitely not what you want. You don't want so many broken egglesy pieces at the end. At this point it smells just like watermelon if you perceive the smell at this point nobody needs to tell you that they are of the same family because you will get the smell it looks like and it's tasteless the inner part is tasteless just like the white part of the watermelon this just confirms to you that mm, they are of the same family and by the end of it when we're done this is what it looks like it looks like nothing much has been done to it it almost looks the same but everything has been cut and left to get rotten fast forward to one week later i'm on my way back to the farm to continue the process normally it takes about two three to four days for it to get rotten if the sun is hot but we're in the rainy season now in cameroon and i decided to give it one week just to be sure everything is soft very well and this is what we are looking at one week later you can see that some of them are really looking rotten and soft and others are still looking like nothing has happened but inside they were definitely soft and ready to be taken out of the comb definitely it's no brainer that the ones that are really decayed are the ones that we use stones to break them open and the ones that are looking like they are not so decayed are the ones that we use matcha to open and this is what we brought to ease our process of washing this is just a bucket that has some holes on each you can use a sieve but this is what we normally use because it's faster and easier and less stressful if you're to use a sieve for the process 
So instead of by taking each melon seed and removing the aggressive from inside, this is why you want it soft. This is the reason why you are breaking it just so it's soft to make the process easier of removing all the aggressive from the melon seeds. As in, you see how soft it is and it comes out without so much pressure or stress or energy exerting stuff. This is what it looks like when you have taken off all of the aggressive from the melon seeds. You just have that whitish part which is left. And the process continues on and on and on. So at this point, I'm just going to leave you guys to watch and I'm going to resume talking later. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself of the bucket i showed you guys earlier to help you sieve out uh, the first dead from the aggressive seeds i mean nobody wants to carry so much dirt with you back home so it just helps you take away that unnecessary dirt so you have just the seeds what is necessary to take back home with you the bucket just makes it faster and less stressful compared to using a regular sieve from home can you see the amount of dirt oozing out from the bucket? That is what I'm talking about. All that unnecess unnecessary residue is what you want to take out from the aggressive before transporting it home. You don't want to carry unnecessary weight and unnecessary mess that's going to mess up everywhere and which is unnecessary of course it's not necessary so that's what the bucket helps you to do it just helps you reduce all that waste and separate like the waste from what you actually need which is just the egg seed itself forget the fast forward in this video guys this process is so tiring and uncomfortable because the decayed melon seeds attracts lots of mosquitoes to you and the smell at this point is not so pleasing to the nose but you still have to go through it irrespective now you see why a glass of a goosey is sold in the market at 500 francs because it takes so much energy time resources and everything just to get a small quantity at this point we're just so tired and could not wait to get this over and done with and go home so while we're working a young girl came up to us to advertise a school which we share boundary with in the farm there and i did not have the opportunity to actually film her while she was talking about the school because my hands were busy my hands were dirty but i promised her i was definitely going to give her a slot in this video i took her flyer the flyer of the school and i told her i was definitely going to advertise it for her on this channel whatsoever she said i was definitely going to give a repeated speech to you guys for you guys to hear what the school has to offer so stay tuned because i will certainly give you guys all the details about the school shortly so we're done at this point and it was time to go home this is what the environment looked like after all the work has been done
this is the residue left Onto the school, it is called St. Michael's Nursery and Primary School, located in Gemel Limbe, Anglo Saxon Education. I'm just going to read it for you guys. Admissions now open, number of kids on road, 20 people. Learning is made fun by promoting hands on activity. Visual learning is enhanced by the use of electronic gadgets, TVs, projectors, computers in classes. Our class sizes are kept small to enhance interactive learning, qualified teaching. And you have pictures of the school, the classroom, the building itself. That's what the building looks like. You have a playground. That is the building. They have a playground. That's what their classes look like. They have um, a music class and they have a computer lab where she said they have over 40 computers for each student. And they have a daycare, nursery, and primary section from class 1 to class 6. And their school facilities, they have air-conditioned school buses, air-conditioned classroom for the nursery section, music classes, foreign language. She said they teach them Chinese. She tried explaining why they chose to choose Chinese, saying it's a global language, blah, 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 and give the advantages of your children knowing Chinese. And you have surveillance cameras, about 65, borehole, constant water supply, well-equipped computer laboratory, spacious and airy classrooms, a library, a school farm, an ideal secure playground, school infirmary with a permanent nest, and you have partnership with an experienced pediatrician to follow up children. Now, she went further to explain that um, they have a GPS system, a tracking system, which is connected to the parents' um, phones. When your child is being dropped in school and the child enters the school, the parent indicates in the parent's phone. And when the child leaves school at the end of the day, it indicates in the parent's phone as well. So you start expecting your child in like 10 or 15 or whatever minutes depending on how far your house is from the school. I think the aspect is so nice. I practically, I personally like the aspect. And this is a location plan to the school. Um, if you're coming from Sokolo, from Bobende, from the stadium, they have given you a direct description of how to get to the school. You drop at Molamboa, that's the building, Molamboa building, and you walk down into that entrance you will find the school i think the school is nice um from what she says it's uh, international standards and the school seems like it's going to be a very great school for people who like posh lives moving on to our egusi process this is me now trying to continue the washing process because bringing it from the farm it wasn't clean you still have to wash it and wash it for it to be clean before you dry it and when it gets dry you still have to crack it and after you crack it you still have to dry it again before you use it to cook i mean the process is just so so long this washing process takes so much water so it is advisable if you want to wash it we see you should always choose to wash it where you have excess water or a running tap or you have drums of water that you know that you cannot lack water and by the time you're done you have to spread it out for it to get dry depending on how hot the sun comes out it's going to take a couple of days hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to see you on my next one bye